Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs, and today we are going to be working on another canvas. Now, just bear with me and give me a minute or two so that I can go ahead and pull out my chat. I will also be having with me here Mr. Sasson and Crafts. He's going to be reading out some of you guys' questions and comments uh, throughout the live stream. So if you yeah. haven't subscribed, make sure that you go ahead and do. All you have to do is click the little icon in the chat and you can subscribe through there. So let me just go ahead and pull up my video. Hello, Jamie. Hey, Tanya. How are you beautiful ladies doing today? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm just pulling up my video so that I can see the chat. And I have it so that I can see the chat. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, ladies, so much for the thumbs up. Oh, you did? Hi, Night Fear. How are you? So let me see how I'm going to do this, you guys, so that my thing does not fall. I think I'm going to use my handy dandy needed eraser to hold up my phone. There we go. This will help me to keep it up so that it doesn't fall sideways. So how's everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys are having a marvelous day, even though it's really, really hot. Because here in New York, it is 90 what, babe? 94. It's 94 degrees here. So oh, tomorrow's going to be 100, you guys. I don't know how I'm going to survive this. But I think I'm going to get myself a nice bathtub full of ice. And I'm just going to spend the day in it uh, and let this heat pass. <laughs> so what I've done so far, as you guys know, this is the Dollar Tree canvases um, that I purchased at Dollar Tree, obviously, because they're, you know, they're Dollar Tree canvases. So um, pretty much what I did is I took a stencil and I did some stenciling on here. What you guys see here is black modeling paste. So I went ahead and just gave it a quick little stencil so that it can be dry by the time that I went live. Um, so that's all that I did. It's 47 in Washington. Oh, you're so lucky, Jamie. See, times like this is where I, I would love to switch places with somebody that's like in Alaska or in one of those really, really cold places. Oh, my God. I know Florida must be like so, so super hot. Like, oh, yeah, I, I don't want to trade paces with you, Tanya. It's, it's hotter over there than it is over here. <laughs> um, so pretty much I did a stenciling real quick of, um, you know, these little vines. And I'm thinking today is going to be. I have some several options here. I got a lot of feedback the other day um, when I was live. And I asked, you know, people for different thoughts and suggestions as far as the kind of canvases that they would like to see. Amongst those is a Victorian style one. Now, what I'm going to do is um, somewhat Victorian. I think I'm going to go with a little bit of this theme um, and do something Victorian today. But obviously with my little twist to it. Oh, Elizabeth, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> so um it's gonna be a little bit victorian that's the goal but i'm not gonna put people and things like that i'm gonna do something a little bit different um as some of you guys know i have the cricket explorer not the explorer i wish i have the cricket expression too which is a little bit older but it still does the job um it's a machine i purchased i have like two months with it a little bit less than that um and i purchased it from that go so woo -woo. thank it thank god for that little application so I've kind of got a little crazy, as I would normally do, because that's just me. And um, I made a whole bunch of chipboards. Yay. I'm still really, really low, like ridiculously low on cartridges. Like I only have like about five. Um, and they're obviously not all the greatest. But there's one in particular that I really, really love and enjoy. Um, and it's the iron one. I think it's iron something ornamental iron or iron something too. Um, and it gives me these kinds of pieces that have like this really, um, you know, kind of like old uh, vintage ironworks and things like that, um, like fences and gates and stuff like that. So it's really, really detailed in that way. Hello, Deb. How are you, beautiful? Um, so pretty much I have this and I went ahead and also did a little bit of just sewing to this. I'm probably going to be altering this some way, somehow. And I've enlarged it so that it can fit my canvas. So the size of this is eight by ten so that it can fit the canvas. So obviously it's gonna cover up a lot of my detailing. So I am gonna be altering this uh, shape somehow, some way. I've also got a few other things in here and we're kind of gonna see, we're gonna play it by ear. Um, I've got some little birdies that I've 
that gone ahead and used my Cricut and cut out. So I'm having loads of fun with the things that I'm able to, you know, to do. For those of you that saw the haul today, um, I picked up some LDRS uh, dies and one of them was this little butterfly one. Super, super cute. Um, so I'm going to be incorporating some of these little butterflies in here. And um, I got stars and clouds and just all different kinds of things. But the centerpiece for today's canvas, you guys, hello, Tina, is going to be this hot air balloon. And I got this from the, whatchamacallit, um, Vic, what is it called? From this cartridge right here. It's called Victorian Romance. So it's a little bit Victorian. That's why I figured, you know what, I'm going to go with this theme. And I didn't want to do a scene with like people and stuff like that. I think I'll leave that for maybe something else um, to get a little bit more intricate with that. But I am going to use this hot air balloon. So we're going to be incorporating this. This is going to be the centerpiece of today's canvas. So um, I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy that and like that very much. As you guys know, I'm doing giveaways throughout the summer for the canvases that I create just because I love to share my art with you guys. And I know that, you know, I know you guys watch and support, but I know it would also be nice to, you know, own something that is made by, you know, by me or by the people that you watch all the time and support. So that's the goal for today. Yes. I love Victorian too. You know, I would have thought that I would have had enough with the shabby, but eh, eh, eh. I don't know what happened to me. I mutated you guys. Something happened. Something transformed in there. I'm still trying to figure it out. So we're going to be using the hot air balloon. I got some little chipboard pieces that we're going to be using and we're going to be um, gessoing and stuff like that to get them ready. And we're also going to be using some paper from here. I'm not really quite sure what yet, so I'm going to be looking through this. This is a romance novel by Prima. It's a six by six paper pad. I don't use it often enough um, because I wanted to hoard it. But uh, I think today is going to be the day that I am going to... I like that, that I'm going to be using this. So we'll see. We'll see how it all comes out. <laughs> um, so we're going to be getting some papers from either this one or um, this other, this other Prima one, which is called Nature's Garden. Uh, Nature Garden Collection is another six by six paper pattern. It's got beautiful uh, papers in it as well. These colors, um, for the most part, are not as dark. So depending on which way I start flowing with this thing, um, depends on how I'm going to go ahead and incorporate, uh, you know, the papers and the papers that I'm going to choose. So that's that. <laughs> if you have those, of course you do, Tanya. Of course you do. <laughs> um, so let's get this party started, you guys. Let's get this party started. Let me put my little suitcase of fun to the side. For now. And I think I'm going to start this. This didn't come out very dimensional. I wanted it to be a little bit more dimensional. It didn't come out very, very dimensional. So we're going to see how we work it out. The first thing I'm going to do is actually start cutting this thing to the side because um, this is going to be the, one of the first things that I'm going to lay down. So I'm going to get this kind of ready. And then I'm going to give it a quick coat of gesso. I'm not sure if um, some of the stenciling that I did is going to show, but hopefully it will. I'm going to cut this the way I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, get it all gessoed up. It's raining. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So, yeah, because I do want some of my back to show. So I don't want to cover it all up. I didn't want to cover it all up. So we'll see. We'll see how this kind of goes. Um, and we're just going to get rid of some of these uh, grid pieces here. And see how I like that. If I don't like how this looks, I do have other pieces that I can use. So I did um, kind of get myself somewhat ready, uh, even though it's not necessarily what I always do. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So 
So I'm going to ask that if you guys have any kinds of questions that you would like for Sasson to read out, um, to put it in caps, just so that, you know, it doesn't get lost um, between the regular combo that we have here. Let's see. So pretty much just snipping this. I'm not going to double it up. I thought about doubling it up to make it like really, really thick. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to leave it just as it is. And I'm going to glue this down. And then once I glue this all down, I'm trying to see which is the best way to... Uh, I think this will give me the best curve. Use it, cutting it out this way. There we go. <laughs> what happened? Yes. That's the great thing about these kinds of uh, chipboard pieces. You can definitely go ahead and you know, alter them a little bit. You could even cut them and, you know, put them, rearrange them in different different ways, kind of like what I did with the teacup uh, handle. I wasn't really feeling that kind of handle the way that it was coming out. So I clipped it and I put it how it made me feel more comfortable. That's what's awesome about creating your own art. You can alter it any way that your little heart desires because it's about making you happy first and making everybody else happy second. Yeah, I think I kind of like it like that. And like I said, even though it's going to cover up most of what I have going on in the that. Oh, no, Jamie. <laughs> so let's go back and glue this down. After I've glued it down, then I'm going to give it a quick coat of gesso where it's all going to be covered. We're going to kind of put that to the side while I work on the other pieces, and then we'll start kind of getting it all arranged and together. So I'm just looking for my gesso if I can find it and my glue. And let me open this glue up a little bit. It is always my luck that my glues always end up closing up on me. <laughs> all right so we got that kind of opened up and ready to go where is it i don't want to lose my little pokey thing so let me put that back where i got it from it is so so freaking hot and we got the ac blowing and it's still hot you guys i mean it's not as hot with the ac but it's still pretty hot so let's go ahead and glue this baby down. <laughs> no glue? Why not? Why no glue? I'm going to stick it down if I don't add glue, you guys. I got to add glue. If this glue will work with me, then got to have like 15 bottles of this stuff. Let me just switch caps here. Oh, now you want to act like you want to come out, right? Now that I've switched bottle caps on you. All right, so hopefully, come out, Blue, come out. It's probably got gunk inside. And that's why it's not coming out. All right. I think I got it. I think I got it. Let me just move this over. So I love this glue, but this is like the hardest glue to work with when it comes to squeezing this thing out of the cap, unless you have like the most humongous hole. There we go. Then and only then will it like, you know, come out the way that you want it to. 
I use a C920 um, Logitech. But I'm thinking about um, getting a different one that gives me like a wider, um, gives like a wider uh, spectrum of a, a wider view. Plus I need one that has like a remote control so that I can go ahead, so that I can go ahead and remote control um, the angles and stuff so that I can zoom in and zoom out and stuff like that. Unfortunately, right now I, I gotta do it manually and I'll forget. <laughs> I've done that plenty of times where like I'll zoom in to show you guys something and then I'll do like the rest of the live with the thing like completely out of focus because I done zoomed in too much and I forgot to um, zoom it back out. So I'm gonna cover the whole thing just because I wanna make sure that this sticks down nicely. I wanna make sure that um, whoops, once I just hold this baby down, it's not gonna come off. Mid flight. And I'm super excited to see who's gonna end up winning this. <laughs> how many bottles of glue? Yeah, how many bottles of glue do you have, Isabel? Yeah. Let's see. I got a whole bunch. I'm not gonna lie. I stay hoarding the glue. I love me some glue. Let me see. I wanna make sure that this is as straight as I can possibly get it. I'm gonna put this upside down so that I can use my table to hopefully get it all glued down nicely. So this is what we're looking at so far. I think this is gonna come out really cute, especially once it's all like together. And then this is gonna be, I am gonna double glue these up. So I'm gonna get these ready. This is gonna be somewhere around here. I think this is gonna look so, so nice. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Me too. Every time I go to the Dollar Tree, now that they don't have my glue, like I always have to buy this stuff here, which I don't mind. Um, you know, I get more glue for the dollar. I just really, really love my other one just because I just loved it. It did everything I needed it to do. It glued on glass, it glued on metal, it glued everything. This met this glue, when you put metal on it, like when you try to glue metal on it, sometimes the, the, the metal tarnishes the glue and it changes the color. Like it starts oxidizing or something. So we have that now while that's kind of just setting up setting up a little bit. And I'll leave this to like add to my art journal or something because that's not a that's not a loss right there. What I have a hard time and it's not really so much of a hard time, but like what I be having difficulty with is sometimes like the double sided tape. Because yeah, I'll buy it from like eBay and stuff like that, and I'll buy like five rolls, ten rolls, but it only brings but like so much. Like it brings such a little amount. So I think I'm gonna put like three of this together just because I want this to be like super dimensional. I want this to be really, really thick and sticking out. So I'm gonna glue a couple of them together. I just have to make sure which side is the side. I want this to be like really nice and thick, almost like a chipboard, like a wood chip. Yeah, cause it's not the same. They is. It's not the same company. The other company was called Alroy's, A-L-L-R-O-Y or something like that. It was Alroy's. It was a lot better. This company now, it's like, it must cost them like three cents to make that bottle. Like it's ridiculous. All right, so I'm gonna save those three and I'm gonna start gluing these three together. And I also like the fact that it glued really well on like my thin tip bottle. You know, I, I have that little fine tip bottle. I got so upset that I gave it to Sasson. <laughs> I gave the bottle to him. I'm like, here, you fill it up with your clear glue and you use it. 
I'm just done with it. I'm just going to use this for now. I'm so upset. I'm so upset, you guys. All right, let me see. So let me do it from this side. I was so mad. I was so mad. But I'm really excited though because I got um, my deep cut blade for the machine now. So I'm able to cut like, you know, this kind of chipboard. I was having such a hard time cutting the chipboard out with that regular blade that the machine comes with. And mind you, I bought the machine brand new. The lady literally had it in storage since the day that she bought it. Never got to use it because it was an elderly lady. She never got to use it. So the whole thing was completely, completely brand new with the stickers on, the tape. Everything was sealed up. And um, it was just a dang shame. It would not cut. Paper, it would cut sometimes. Like, it would cut all right. But overall... It was no bueno, you guys. I was having such a hard time. But now that I got my deep cut blade, what? It is party time in Casa de Carmen. Yes, it is. <laughs> what happened, Isabel? <laughs> oh, it comes from Puerto Rico. Yes. And so... Well, I gave it to him because the other glue that I was using with that bottle was the glue that I, um the, the other glue that I was buying was the glue that I was using with that bottle, the one that had the little fine tip applicator. But I stopped because I couldn't get it no more. So I just got frustrated and I didn't want to see the little fine tip applicator no more because it just reminded me of my glue that I love so much. <laughs> so I gave it to him so I don't become nostalgic every time I use it with something else. Plus this Eileen's glue is too thick for that. It's too thick. The other glue was just right. I didn't have to add water to it. I just pretty much filled in my bottles and closed it up, and that was it. This one's too thick. I tried it, and it just it won't come out right. I have to water it down. And I didn't want to keep going through that. Because when a girl's on a mission, a girl's on a mission, and I can't be held back. Nope. Let's see. Well, hopefully I glued this all right. Probably not. Let's see. These two are okay. This one probably isn't. There we go. Now it is. Now I just gotta get these to kind of line up just right. And yes, I got glue all over the back of my thing because I put it in the wrong side, but it's all right. It's all right. Well, everything comes from over there, <laughs> mostly. So it's kind of hard to avoid. That's why we just go straight to the source nowadays. And cut out the middleman. I know that sounds terrible, but I mean, it's not not for everything, but for some things, for a lot of things. All right. So this is going to glue. This is going to dry. At least this glue doesn't take forever. It doesn't dry as fast as I would love for it to dry, but it'll dry fast enough for me to use it. So I'm just going to set this to the side. I'm going to put a glue side up because I don't want it to stick anywhere. But it's nice and thick now. It's thick enough. It's thick enough. Let me just run this little piece of cardboard along the edges so that I can get some of these little glue beads um, kind of out of there. I don't like it to look so messy. But I'm having a lot of fun with my machine. I am. Because it's letting me do things that I wasn't doing before. It's allowing my art to kind of blossom into something a little bit different. Something that I always kind of wanted to do, but it's hard to find chipboards like that. All right, Jamie. It's really hard to find like really intricate, you know, pretty types of chipboards. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, I think it's, her name is Gabrielle Poyaco. Um, she does like all different kinds. Well, she's not on here as much anymore. 
but she used to be more active and she does like beautiful canvases with all different types of chipboards. But like I've gone to um, try to find some of those chipboards and they're pretty penny. They're beautiful chipboards, but you know, you guys know where I'm coming from with that. So we got that, we got that. Let me go ahead and put out some of my other stuff and I'm gonna start getting myself ready to gesso. Let me pull out some of the other pieces and start kind of getting the layout ready. They have yard sales out here, but I don't know. <laughs> Sounds so laughs because it's like, I don't know, <laughs> be buying some of the stuff they're trying to get rid of. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So I'm buffering. Oh, is it really bad? So let's see. I'm going to try to um, get some of these little bits and pieces. This, I think I want to hang the butterflies out from under. From under the, um, I can find another one. It's around here somewhere. I literally have put this stuff in bags. And when I opened up my box, everything flew out the bag. Like, isn't that just amazing? Um, I think I want to put like two little butterfly things kind of like swinging in the air, like they're attached. So that's going to be for that. And I, you know, if I'm going to go to one of those sales, I got to know that they're going to have crafty stuff because that's really the only thing that I'd really be looking for. Um, not really looking for like other stuff, mainly just crafty things. All right, so I got some birds that I'm gonna be using. So let me go ahead and pull out some of my little birdies that I got together, um, some of the little birdie chippies. Let's see. Come on, little birdies, where you at? Where you at? Let's see. I got some butterflies here that I'm going to be using as well. I should have just left these things out. I don't know why the heck I put them back inside of the box. Because now I'm like searching and scrambling for these things. That will be it. Huh? Yeah, I got butterflies. I got butterflies. And I got birds. I got a whole bunch of birds. <laughs> yes, I think this is going to look super cute once it's all done. And then with this little thing in the center. And we have little butterflies that are going to be kind of swinging out. I think that'll look really, really cute. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to see where I go with this. I might not center it as much as I might just put it over here somewhere. I'm gonna see where I'm gonna see where I do with it. Um, I think this is about it for the stuff. Come on, little butterflies, where you at? This is what I've been doing. Like I've just been, um, you know, trying to work with some kind of an idea and just cutting up a whole bunch of different things that I think will will work with it, and then just kind of putting it all there. If it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not gonna go crazy. <laughs> Where's the little hearts? I had like a whole bunch of little hearts. Because I need to put some hearts in here because this is about love. It's always about love. The big L. <laughs> yes. I know I'm super excited about what I have in my mind. I just hope that I can execute it well. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I said the L word. You're not scared of the L word. All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So I think that's what I'm going to do for right now. I was looking for, there it is, another heart. Got two little hearts right there. That'll work for me for now. 
And let's put the suitcase of fun back on the ground for now. Oops, this is not going. This is not going. Yes, thank you. I know I'm so super excited. <laughs> I really am. I'm really, really super excited because I get to do different stuff now. And I love building. I love building stuff. That's like one of the things that I love to do. I literally like will break stuff just to rebuild it. <laughs> I don't know if it's the fascination for the glue or what. <laughs> But I will literally do that. So let me go ahead and grab me this. And um, I'm going to see if I can find a little sponge that I can apply this gesso with. I don't throw stuff away, you guys. Like they're hard as heck. And I still keep them just so that I can apply gesso with them and stuff like that. You being nosy, Sasso? That song's being nosy. He's all up on my side of the desk, man. All right, so that should work. That should work. Yup. Man, get back to your side. Get back to your side. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to most likely do this with a bigger thing, but let me go ahead and start getting some of these little teeny tiny birds. I'm all just sewed up. And I'm probably just gonna spray this or something. I don't even know. But let's start getting these kind of like all just sewed up. And this is like a lot of little teeny birds. I might not even use all of them. So I'm not gonna go crazy and do them all. I'll just do like five or six and um, just leave it there just in case. Just in case. I'm already getting my hands dirty. You guys should be so proud. Do you guys share tools and supplies or do you each have your own? He has his own and I have my own, but we also share. We also share. And yes, he does invade. <laughs> I will literally be looking for stuff and I'm like, did you see this? Did you see that? And he'll be like, no. Next thing I know, he's got it in his little box. Yep, right on his shelf. I'm like, nah. -uh. Leave a note or something. You got me here crazy looking for my stuff, putting everything down, taking all the shelves, and all the boxes out the shelves. I'm like, what the heck did I do with it? And he's here like, la -di -da -di -da. But yeah, we share. We share a lot of a lot of stuff. Because sometimes he'll have, and I, I already done hoarded mines and used it all up, and he still have some. So I got to be like, can I have some? Can you please? Give me a little bit. <laughs> Can I borrow this? <laughs> Can I borrow this, please? And like me, I'll go through some of the stuff that I'm not using or that I don't plan to use or I haven't used in a while or I use some and I'll just be like, do you want this? Take it. And some stuff, to him, is like VIP. So even if I want it, he won't share, you guys. He's like, nope. <laughs> yes, the invasion of Sasson and Crap. Do not lie. He's sneaky. He waits for me to leave the room. <laughs> he waits for me to leave the room, you guys. I can't leave nothing on my desk. No, nah, I'm just playing, though. <laughs> I'm just playing. He knows he can have whatever he wants out of my crafty space. If I don't mind sharing with you guys, of course I'm not going to mind sharing with him. <laughs> We're a team, you know? We're a team. Yes. Seasoned crafts. We're a team. <laughs> We're like the A team. All right. So this is pretty good. 
I'm not gonna go too ham with this because again, I am gonna be spritzing a lot of this. Okay, so that's that. So I got my three things, my little butterflies. Um, this is pretty dry, I can set it down now. Let me go ahead and do this to my little, to my little thing on my bob. And let's see, let's see. So I did have some kind of an idea. Usually I'll just sit here and just pull stuff out of my hat, if you will, and be like, okay, let's see, let's see. But I did kind of have an idea. I saw the word has been, I have the little paper hanging on my, my the back of my um, desk here. So I'm getting inspiration from all of you guys' suggestions. And I have the cartridge. So I was like, let me do this. And especially now that my blade came in, and the housing, I got the, the deep cut housing. It makes the world a difference, you guys, when cutting chipboard. Like, I thought they were just selling you stuff to sell you stuff. No, it really makes a difference because I couldn't cut it right. I will have to literally pass the cardstock like four times. By the time it passes like two or three times, it already starts um, shredding and tearing apart. With this, I don't have to do that. I pass it twice, I'm good to go. Carmen is ready to go. Well, that's nice. That's very nice knife here. Sasson is dancing already. Got his dancing shoes on. You're back. He's back, you guys. He's trying to make me break my concentration. No. You don't take stuff from me. You borrow. Yeah, because you have a section on your on your craft shop that says borrowed items. <laughs> Put the borrowed stuff here. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> oh my god. That's what your little space says right there. Put the borrowed stuff right here. All right, so let's see. So like I said, I wanted to do this. I think I'm only gonna be able to do the one. So I don't think that the design will allow me to put two just because of the way that the chipboard is. So I'm just gonna do the one for now. And if I could add another one, I'll add another one, but I'm not gonna go too crazy over that. So these pieces are more or less gessoed and red to go. I just have these little four hearts here. Just yeah, four hearts, that's the wrong side that I'm gonna be including in here somewhere. I'm not sure where, but we'll see, we'll see. Getting the stuff together, like getting things ready, to, it takes longer than actually creating the art. At least for me, because I end up putting so much different stuff. Hi, Teresa. Thank you for joining us. So for me, this is like the longest process. I'm. I have a lot of patience for a lot of things, you guys. But when it comes to certain things like this, I'm so super duper impatient. Like I will literally just glue it all down and then just it all together. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to put this to the side. And now we're going to. What? Don't want to lose these beautiful little chippies. I forgot the butterflies, but we'll see if I add those in there or not. I have birds and stuff, so. Maybe I'll get away with adding one or two or nothing too crazy. And yes, you are the youngest one here. So do you draw, Jamie? What is your um what are you gearing towards? Like, what is your, your artistic interest? What do you like to do? Oh, 
Oh, you like to draw? What do you like? Manga, anime, or you like more into like realistic drawing? My daughter likes to draw like anime and manga and stuff like that. Oh, nice. So do you watch like those um, cartoons and stuff like that? That is like um, those manga type cartoons that don't speak English. Cause let me tell you my daughter, she pretty much knows how to speak. I think it's Chinese. I'm not even sure if it's Chinese or Korean or whatever language it is. No offense to anybody. Cause I really don't, you know, I don't understand this. So I don't know what, you know, which way it's coming from but she pretty much understands everything that they're saying. I'm like in shock. I just hope one day she doesn't get mad at me and start talking to me in languages I don't understand because then I won't know how to respond back. <laughs> I won't know what to say afterwards. But yeah, she's um, 16 and she's always been fascinated with that. And she draws on like a digital tablet and stuff like that. She's really good too. She's really good. But like this, I can't draw the way that she draws. And she could probably draw the way that I draw, but I can't draw the way that she draws at all. Oh, uh, yes. She's into all of that. All right, you guys. So we're about done with the saturation of this canvas for the most part. Just gonna give it this little once over. These little foam brushes are not that great, you guys. This little stick, it's like it brushes up against the canvas whenever I'm trying to paint what I'm trying to paint. So I do see that I'm going to get a little bit of texture, nothing too, too major, but I'm going to get a little bit of texture with um, the stenciling that I did in the background, as well as some of the stenciling that I put on here. So I think that's it for that. Which paper? Which paper, Teresa? I know. It really sucks. I mean, you know, what? you can't fight too much for a dollar, right? Can't fight too much for a dollar, but geez Louise. A makeup applicator is a hundred times better when it comes to applying with a sponge than that stuff right there. Yes, it is. Let me just try to clean my hands a little bit. Oh, the oh, um the chipboard. Yeah, it's a chipboard that I made using my cricket machine my expression too. And I enlarged it to uh, eight by 10. And I just pretty much removed, they had like a grid on in the inside, which I, I removed out of it to get just like that opening there. And I stenciled the background of the canvas to get a little bit of um, textured. You guys can see it's got a little bit of a raised element to it. And all I did was um, I glued it down and then I just applied gesso to it. So let's see, we have this. This, I'm gonna, I have to figure out what colors I'm gonna go with that. So let's try to get some paper to inspire us. Oh, you are. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that, Jamie. You're into cosplay and stuff like that, right? That's pretty cool. Let's see. Guys, you want to throw me some color suggestions? Yes, you can. You can, Tanya. Woo woo. <laughs> you can. Because you won last week. No. No. You didn't win. You won the week before last. The week before last, you won. This week, Tina won. Tina A won for um last week's Saturday, this last Saturday's um giveaway. So you're you're in the free and clear. 
So I'm thinking, I'm looking to see what kind of paper just kind of brings out some, I don't know, emotion out of me. I want to see. Maybe I should paint that first and then decide what paper I'm going to add back there. Huh? This one? Yeah, I think that that would look cute, right? All right, I'm going to pull this baby out. You like this one and the one before this one? Let's see. That one with the different patterns. Oh, she said muted and pink. Look at Jamie. Miss Fancy Pants. <laughs> that one. They are all pretty. Teresa, it's so hard to choose. So hard to choose, but we'll figure it out. We'll get something in. Tanya said no. <laughs> I'm going to put them upside down. That's how I'm going to choose. That one with the butterflies. Let's see that one. Tina <laughs> <laughs> said yes for that one. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick out a couple different ones. I'm going to put them upside down. And then I'm going to do like any mini, mini, mo. I'm going to shuffle them up and nobody's going to know what. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pick one. So I'm going to go for that. Tanya, have you found what you're looking for? That one? Was it this one? All right, so that's for that one. Let me grab out of the other paper pad and see if there's anything in here that... um. Let's see. I like that for the corner. I can cut this part out. So let's see. These papers are so gorgeous. Like, ugh, I can't right now. It's hard to make up my mind. So I think, I think I'm going to go with that. This is Prima. The book is a Prima paper, Prima paper pad. It's called Romance Novel. What about this one, you guys? All right, so. Whatever paper I don't choose, I might choose different parts of it for accents. And then I'll base the rest of the color scheme on whatever that ends up becoming. So we'll see. So we're going to shuffle, you guys. You guys can see. All right. I don't know what's what. I don't know what's what, you guys. Hopefully, I'll pick a good one. Hopefully, I'll pick a good one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If you hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, we got this one. <laughs> the one that Isabel picked out. All right. And for an accent, let's see. I'm going to shuffle these up again. I'll pick one more for like an accent. So add some accent pieces into this. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Don't worry. Don't worry. No worries. No worries. All right. Any mini money mo catch a tiger by the toe. If you hollers, let him go. Any mini money mo. And we got this one. Tanya, you guys both won. So like <laughs> you bought you guys both got uh out of it. So we're gonna leave it at that. And I think I like this one because it actually matches both papers really well. So I'm gonna cut this little part out because um that actually gave me some some funny feelings, some funny vibes. And I'm gonna put these back in my paper pad because I ain't gonna lose them. What? I'm not going to lose them. No survey bomb. <laughs> I got to hide them quick because I already made a little comment back here. 
very pretty yes yeah, very pretty so we're gonna use this and we're gonna incorporate this into that somehow we'll figure that part out um so i'm just gonna try to fuzzy cut this as best as i can i'm gonna distress this out a little bit and we're gonna see where we go from here there's no need for me to use the air balloon because we're having a humongous air balloon. So that kind of defeats the purpose. That kind of defeats the purpose. So this is what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. So I think I'm gonna use the paper for the backdrop of the balloon. And this has a whole bunch of like little sections. So I'm gonna try to cut out some little sections and just kind of do like a, what you call that a mosaic kind of thing in the background. Just do a little mosaic somewhere on there. I think that that'll work really well. He wants them, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So let me go ahead and um, let's see. I have the stencil here somewhere. Of uh, when I cut this out, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. So I'm gonna try to use the stencil that it came into traces somehow. I'm gonna try to trace this somehow. Let's see if that'll work. Let's see if that'll work. So this goes this way. That goes this way. So the stencil goes this way. So I'm going to do that and stencil this out. I'm going to distress this a little bit. And I think that that'll probably be my best bet. Do, do, do. <laughs> right? Uh, that's always coming for the prima. That's too funny. Listen, I, I you know, I'm not going to lie. I go into his paper pad sometimes and be like, I like this paper. What? I didn't say nothing. I thought he knew. Shh, nothing. Somebody change the subject. Somebody change the subject. No, sh I didn't say nothing. Yo no dije nada, nada, yo no dije nada. Yo ni dije ni hice. Yo, mira, una santa aquí, tranquilita, quieta, ya tú sabes. All right, so I traced this out a little bit. Let me put this back over here. Yes, I do, but I, I rarely do because um, I have so many things um, turned on in my room at the same time that I can't really plug in that heater tool here. So like when I do have to do it, I, I have to do it in another room and I'd rather not, I'd rather craft here. <laughs> so I don't tend to go to, um, you know, to do it over there often, but in the past when I have needed to do it, I've done it. And I'm hoping that this will kind of fit in there perfectly. I knew there was a reason. Something told me do not throw this thing away. And granted, I could make more, but I had a feeling I was going to be needing it today. <laughs> it's Prima. I know, right? Who wouldn't want to take some Prima? All right, so, all right. What do you guys think? I think that's gonna look super, super adorable. Now, are we thinking gold? Cause you guys know me, I love me some gold. So I'm thinking maybe some gold with this or should I go like pinkish, 
with the pinkish flare because we know we're going to have some pink in here. But I'm wondering if I should have some gold in here as well. I think that's going to look really, really nice. Later. So I'm going to get some paint out, you guys, and um, start getting this whole thing kind of prepped and ready. Shabby goodness with some gold. Yes. I am feeling that. I am feeling that, girl. I have like three different pinks here. I like that one and I like this really pale one. So I'm gonna put that. The one thing that sucks is when you're doing um, this kind of stuff, you gotta stay away from like browns. And I love adding like that vintagey kind of brownish tone to my art. I am looking for a little stencil brush. We have some paint. Little paint buggers here. Let's just have some fun. Let's have some fun, you guys. And I think I'm gonna grab my um, little glue bottle that I have with some fine with the fine tip. It's a uh, I'm using it now for as a paint writer. I'm gonna use that to like add some details. Hey, I put a lot of paint in this stencil brush. That's not a good idea. I dunked it, oh my goodness, to add some like pink, um, some pink things to this. And this is just gonna be the first layer. I am gonna go over this um, gold with another gold, which is the wax one, to just make it even more goldish. But this way I don't have to fight so much with it to get it the color that I want. And I think I might as well, just gonna add a little bit of gold to everything that I have here and then I'll just dab on other colors as I see fit. Um, I still need, well, I think I'm gonna do the background and stuff like with different pinks and um, baby blues, I think, and just create something kind of cool and mystical looking. So I'm gonna try to get out some of this paint from my stencil brush and just use whatever's in here to kind of get some of this out. Now this is really cool because it kind of pops out. So it gives it a little bit even more dimension to it. It almost looks like a little dragonflies at the top. I thought that was pretty cool. Now I am gonna add more colors to this. So it's not gonna be like a gold canvas, but um, at least I have this as a base. So I can just dab little things here and there and I'll still have like that little metallic -y effect shining through. And the color that I'm using right now is Splendid Gold. Um, and it's from the Dazzling Metallics uh, line by Deco Art. It's a metallic acrylic paint, which I absolutely love. <laughs> I love all kinds of metallics, metallic paints. Thank you. 
Well, right now, the only brand that I really do use is the Deco Art brand. Um, but I think at the end of the day, whatever, you know, whatever's in your budget is what you should use. At least it'll get you working with paints in general and giving you a feel for it. Once you decide what you love, as far as, you know, the painting aspect of it, then you can go ahead and invest, you know, more as you move forward. But right now, this is all that I'm using. And I absolutely love it. I won't necessarily say that one brand is better than the other. All right, so we got that. I'm going to let this kind of dry a little bit, and I'm going to start working on the dry brushing on the canvas. And then I'm going to distress my piece, and I'll start working on some of the other elements that are going to go in here. just push that to the side and i've pulled out um two pink colors so far i've got innocence and cherry blossom and i'm thinking i want some blue in here so let's see what i find Oh, I like this Indian turquoise. That's a different kind of color. And I'm going to get this chalky finish. Oops. So I'm going to be using this fine writer later on to add like little details. The color here is not black, but it's um, gunmetal. So it's like a really dark kind of silver, which I'm probably gonna use just to add like little details here and there, nothing too crazy. Let me go ahead and shake up this paint. They all do the same thing, girl. They all do the same thing. If it's color you want, it's color you shall have. Just giving them all a quick shake because I don't want to have to be fighting with it later. And here I've also got a little bit of white pearl, which is another metallic paint. So let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to dry brush it. I'm not going to wet my brush. I'm going to dry brush different colors in different areas. Um, I kind of want this falling from the top. What do you guys think? I kind of want this kind of falling from the top. I think that that'll add a nice little kind of flair to it. I don't know, but we'll see. Or should I do it from the bottom? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll leave it from the bottom. I'll leave it from the bottom. It's okay. I don't know because I buy, um, I bought these at, I forgot where I bought these. <laughs> I'm not sure if I bought it on eBay. I might have got them off of eBay because I do a lot of, like, I'll buy a lot of those kinds of paper pads and stuff like that on eBay. But I don't think Prima's exclusive to, um, it could have been Joanne's. I think Joanne's carries it too. Yeah, it's in Michael's too. Yeah, like, I think that it's um, one of those brands that it's kind of like cross country. You can kind of find it a little bit everywhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some of this chalky finish. And this color is called Whisper, you guys. And it's kind of like an eggshell white. That's pretty much what it is. Yes, whisper. <laughs> Say it softly now. Say it softly. Whisper. So I'm going to add a little bit here and a little bit there. Once I'm done with like the color adding and stuff like that, then I'll do my little collage in the center. I'll see where I want little pieces to be, and I'll work on off of it like that. And for this kind of stuff, you don't really need to have, like, if there's no real technique to it. You just add color. While it's still a little wet, you go in and add different colors. A little wet, keep adding little bits of color here and there. And then you just move it around the, you just move it around the canvas as you go. 
and I'm not using any water because um, I don't want it to be too, you know, too wet. I'm gonna go a little bit with the bluer in the top, just because, you know, it's going up. So I'm gonna get a little bit bluer in the top. Get a little drips of paint. I'll figure it out as I go, um, how dark or how light I want it. And my mixing paint is gonna be that Whisper White so that it's not too uh, too dark, too bold. Let's go in with a little bit of the cherry blossom. And I'm just kind of lightly right over the top. I'm not pushing into the canvas. I'm not spreading that paint by pushing down. I'm just allowing it to lightly catch a little bit of what's going on in the top. It almost looks like cotton candy, right? <laughs> so someone said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bit like cotton candy. Let me go into this with some of the um, white pearl. Just add a little bit of metallic something or the other in there and let it kind of blend a little bit. This is the chalky finish, and this one's called Innocence, you guys. Innocencia. This one's a little bit of a lighter pink than this one. This is cherry blossom, so it's a little bit darker. Plus, this one's um, kind of like a shiny, if you will. This one's really matte dry. It's like chalky. So it's a different um, kind of finish. Yes, right? Some ice cream. Oh no, my canvas just makes us so hungry. <laughs> he said ice cream. <laughs> and I will be kind of going over some of the raised areas in the top with um little bits of metallic paint here and there, just to kind of catch some of those textured areas. Trying to make sure I don't leave pools of paint um, stuck between the little crevices. I think I'm also going to spray a little bit on here. I'm going to see what I have that will work well with this. Thank you, Deb. So let's see. Let's see what else I find in here. And I'm definitely going to add some stamping to this as well. Because I might as well, right? I might as well. Babe, you want to turn the light on for me? It's getting a little dark. Um, what did I say I was going to get? Some sprays, right? Let's see what I find. See what I find if I find um, sprays. I know. <laughs> there we go. All right. So let's see. Gonna add a little bit of this red. I don't even know if this is gonna work too well, but we're gonna wing it. 
I hate sprays, you guys. That's why you don't see me use them as much because I can't deal with something that is constantly, constantly getting clogged. Huh? It's all right because I'm gonna go over this with paint, but I wanted some darker hues. It looks red, but once you um mix it in with some of the paint that's already there, it doesn't look as red as it used to. So don't worry, you guys. We haven't lost the mojo just yet. We haven't lost the mojo just yet. Just to darken it up a little bit. See? It still remains pink. So we didn't lose much. We didn't lose much, you guys. <laughs> Everybody's like, what did Carmen do? We said, we said, Shaddy girl, where did you go and get the pink from? Where did you go and get the red from? Just adding a little bit. Just to um Darken up just some areas of this, but nothing too major. Huh? Still looks shabby. No more. Tranquila, niña, tranquila, no te preocupe. We're good. We're still good. We're still good, you guys. We're still good. It's just to bring up a little bit more richness in the color. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you guys know how I am already, right? I'm usually that one person that says, hmm, I wonder if this square will fit inside of the circle. Let me just shove it in there and see what happens. You know that. You know that. So no worries. No worries, you guys. No worries. While this is kind of setting up and just drying up a little bit, I'm going to continue to work on some of these pieces that I have over here. Because we cannot forget about the center of attraction. It'll still look pretty shabby. Because I made some of the texture. I don't know if you guys can see. Like some of the textured um, areas that I added with the stenciling. They, they came and popped up again. It'll still look good because I still haven't finished touching it up yet. We still got a little bit more to go. It looked like heaven. Oh, I have to go in with more blue anyway because I just squeezed down the chipboard and I guess some of the paint was pooling in the bottom. So I ended up catching like a whole bunch. I have to go and rub in some paint here and there. All right, so let's go ahead and get this part of it going. So I'm going to need some of my gold wax. This is burnished brass. And it is drying. Gold rush. Let's see if we have some gold rush that is not a rock. Oh my gold rush is a rock. Hmm? Yeah. I don't use gold You don't use gold color? <laughs> I'm trying to see champagne. Um, and I got a little bit of green, so I think I'm going to add a little bit of green into some of those butterflies and stuff. This is fat fuchsia. So, got a little bit of colors here. This is champagne gold. And I got my gold rush so that I can go ahead and add a little bit more gold to some of this. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And let's see. Let's go into with a little bit of this green. This is lavish green. 
And I'm gonna add just a little bit here and there on some of these butterflies, just so that they're not so plain. On some of these little hanging butterflies here. Just gonna add a teeny little bit. Right along the edges. I'm not gonna go too deep into the center. So I don't want it to be totally green. I just want to have, you know, a little bit of a different color here and there. Nothing too major. I don't want it to overwhelm it, but I do want a little bit. Because green is my favorite color, you guys. Where does who come from? And what do you mean by come from? You mean planetary wise? Because if that's the case, I'm from the moon. <laughs> if that's the case, Woody, I am from the moon, la luna. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so I got a little bit of green on that. Nothing too major, just a nice little light hint of this um, lime kind of green. It's heritage-wise. Oh, heritage-wise. I'm Dominican, sweetie. Oh, I'm Dominican, darling. I'm Latina. I speak at the English and I speak at the Spanish. Where's that from? You're Guatemalan or you're... I never heard of Gutman. Hmm? Oh, all, right. all right. So I got a little bit of this fab fuchsia. Just going to do a little... In the center. Yeah. Where is my teeny tiny little brush? The first one. Guatemalan. Nice. I've had plenty of Guatemalan friends. to soften it up a little bit. <laughs> Sasson says he's from the mountains. He's crazy. I didn't find you in no damn mountain, okay? <laughs> yeah, headphones broke? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. No, you're not, Deb. You're not the misfit in the group. How are you going to say that? Huh? How are you going to say you're the misfit in the group? We're a welcoming people. You speak it the Spanish. You might not speak it fluently, but you understand enough to save yourself. <laughs> mm. 
Just giving the birdies a little brush of the underbelly there, making it a little bit pinkish with this um, berry color. What is it called? Uh, no, fat fuchsia. That's what it's called. Just catching the little underbellies. So they look like they have a little something, something happening. I'm not gonna go too crazy and um, you know, go all detailed on them. Just a little indication. And hopefully when I go back into my canvas, it'll be ready for me to start taking on some of the next steps. So we can get this show on the road. All right. And I only, let's see. That's what I did. I did all the embellishments with a little bit of the gold, a little bit of the green. Um, and some of the... Um, they can be, depending on where you're buying them from. And what I mean by expensive, they, it can run you like five or six bucks for a little jar. But what I will say in its defense is that it's extremely versatile. And even when they're hard like a rock and they dry out, you can still add water to them and use them like a watercolor. So you can still use them even when they look like you can't use them. So they're good. They're good that way. You can use them as a wax and um, while they're in their, nat their, their nice little, you know, buttery form. And you can still continue to use them after. They look like they've, you know, been long gone. So a really, really sweet uh, product, all in all. So just kind of brushing on some of these waxes onto some of the ends of the butterflies. just to, again, uh, bring out some of that color. So this is more or less how this is looking. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I might add a little detail here and there with um, the gun metal after I'm done. We'll see how that kind of works out. We'll see how that kind of goes. All right, for now, I'm gonna get back into this part here, which is adding more of that gold. Thank you, darling. Thank you. You guys know I love it when you love it. Where's my gold rush right here? I love it when you love it. So just clean off some of this green off of my. So you saw it's hard as a rock on the side, but I added a little bit of water to this. And I'm still able to go ahead and get some of that gold out. So now I'm going to put this on. And you can already see. The gold intensity has just gone a whole new level. And I think I'm gonna add some of that fat fuchsia around the edges. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of that just to um, bring it out more. So when I add the background paper, it pops. Should I add some stamping on this thing, you guys? Should I add some font stamping on it? What do you think? Look how gold. Because I don't have a pink in this wax. The closest thing I got to a pink is, is um, this fat fuchsia. And it's not really a pink, it's more like a purple, but I figured if I could add a little bit of it. The background paper won't really show and I don't wanna cover up the text. So I figured if I can do it like maybe around the edges here. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do it on the inlay. I think that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it on the inlay. So on the on the on the hot air balloon, I was thinking about adding maybe a little bit of this along the edge, but I could leave it as it is. And then I'll just add a little bit inside of the little 
you know, the little cavities. I'll just add a little drop of it just to kind of like make it look like a little bit of shadows going on. What I will do is I'm just going to glue this part onto this. Okay. Avalanche. Avalanche. I sound like a crazy cat lady. Which I am now officially a crazy cat lady because I do have a cat. <laughs> so, yes, it's all down here. It's all downhill from here, you guys. I have a black cat called Blue. Now, tell me if that's a nutty nutty thing to do all right so <laughs> well see that i'm part of the club i'm part of the club that i am i am said sam the cat right something like that <laughs> something like that Something like that. All right. So let's see. Just cleaning out some of this crazy glue that I got going on over here. I glued parts of the canvas um paper that I didn't need to glue on, but doesn't that look beautiful? I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. Even if I do say so myself. Yes, I thought so. My last cat was called Buddha because he was fat. Well, he wasn't fat. We made him fat. But he was a proud cat. He used to stand up with his chest up high. I love my cat. He thought he was a lion. He really did. Buddha thought he was a lion. And he had the shiniest coat ever. Oh no. Well, I'm a little allergic. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Every time I hug blue, my eye be like, tut, 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 tut. it's like it's doing Morse code. It'd be twitching. <laughs> I'm like, I know I'm allergic to you, but I love you. I just, you know, I love the dang thing. I can't do nothing about it. It's too late. It's too late. I'll just deal with it. <laughs> Cats are some of the most loving things that you can own, but but they are very much in their own worlds and they're very much independent and they don't really care, you know, they don't give three alphabets what you're thinking about or what you're feeling like or what you want to do. They give you attention when they want to they show you love when they feel you deserve it. Like, I'm the one feeding you, housing you, grooming you. <laughs> I deserve it. <laughs> and I want it now. And they're like, mm, yeah, I don't think so. I'm not really in the mood. Um, I'm kind of tired. I'm going to go take a nap. Like, that's how cats are. Like, maybe tomorrow. Maybe later. But I love them nonetheless. Yes, the all the way, all the way. But shake that little treat box and watch them come and be rubbing all over your leg and be like all happy and excited to see you. Like, oh my God, I've missed you. It's been so long since I last like saw you. Like, no sucker, you just saw me two seconds ago. <laughs> you just happy now because I got treats. You playing with me, you playing with me. All right, so let's see. Um, First of all, I'm gonna add a little bit more paint here just because I want to add a little bit more intensity. After I muted it all, I want to add a little bit more intensity here and there. And the best way to do that is with your finger. And I want to catch some of these little raised areas. So let me go ahead and just drop a little drop of paint here and just dab my finger in it very lightly. Try to pick up some of these distressed, not distressed, um, stenciled areas. 
that I've added in here. So that they'll hopefully show a little bit better. So I went through the trouble of adding them in there, right? You guys couldn't even see what I was doing. Hola, Neira, como estas? Welcome. So let's do that here and whatever else I see that I've got a little bit of this raised, raised areas. Let's see. And I think I'm going to add a little bit in that background. Cat dogs. Oh boy. Let's see. I've had, as far as pets in my entire life, in my entire life, including when I lived with like my mom and stuff, I've had uh, rabbits. I've had a chicken in an apartment, by the way, in the middle of uptown Manhattan. Yes, I had a chicken. I had a duck. <laughs> um, I've had hamsters, gerbils. Um, right now we have a turtle, we have two turtles and we have our cat. I've had dogs. I've had Siberian Huskies and I love Siberian Huskies. I love their eyes. They look like wolves. Um, let's see. We had a white rat once cause my daughter's fascinated with all different kinds of pets like that. So we've had, we've had quite a few. We've had quite a few. Yes, kind of was like the Bronx Zoo. Now we didn't have them all at the same time because you know, everything in the apartment will be for dinner, including us if we had all those animals in there. Cause no, but it was nice. It was nice having all of those uh, different pets in there. I'm trying to create like a misty kind of feel. Like it's a little misty. Let's see. Yeah, that, that rat didn't last too long in my house. I'll be honest with you. Um, Cause Everybody here was allergic to it. And I mean, everybody here got allergic to it. It was cute, you know. I guess if you can say that it's cute. It was cute. It was white. It had red eyes. Kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. You know, because it's like, I'm not used to seeing those kinds of rats. I'm from the city. So we don't be seeing no albino rats with red eyes, like, you know, poking their little heads out of places. But, but it was a nice rat. It would climb onto my daughter's, you know, stuff and like literally hang out on her shoulder like it was a parrot. She loved it. She called it Snowball. And one day Snowball melted. And we had to let it go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. Things that happen. Casualties of life, I guess. <laughs> and uh, to make it up to her, we ended up getting our cat Buddha. And that's when Buddha came into the scene. But yeah, it was kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, he melted. One day he just didn't wake up. Hello, have at it. He just didn't wake up. I'm not sure what happened. At least that's what we told our daughter. Shh, it's our little secret. 
in reality, we kind of gave it away. It was like, uh, hey, you want to rap? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Any of my friends that brought their kids over to our house would be like, look what we have. We have the nicest rat ever. Look, it's so playful. It's so nice. Do you want it? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we gave it away. <laughs> we gave it away. Fast, too fast. It didn't even last three months in our house. I was like, no, out of all the things that you want in life, why it's got to be that? All because we walked into Petco and the lady over there was like, hey, little child, I see that you're such a nice soul. Would you like to come and see the rats? And she said, rats? And she said, yeah, we have rats here. And they're the most friendliest things in the world. I'm sure you would love to see it. And my daughter's eyes got as big as a doorway. And she said, mom, can I go? Mom, can I go? And I said, okay, you can go. Never did I think that she would be walking out with a rat that day. That lady was a better salesman than me, okay? And before you knew it, I was buying food for one pet, ended up coming home with another. I said, that's the last time you come with me to Petco because next time you're going to want to bring a snake. And I don't like snakes. So no. That was the last time we went there. Well, she went there. Anyways. <laughs> I can't. Uh-uh. Eh-eh. Some things I say no to. It's like, no, no, no. Plus, it wasn't that condition anyway. It was like, we don't like it. We get to, you know, we get to dispose of it somehow. We get to give it away or we'll figure it out. But if it's got to go, darling, it's got to go. All right. So I kind of like what's happening here. What do you guys think? I'm going to add just a little drop of the pink, and then that's going to be it for this. I want to make this kind of like clouds in a way. So I want it to be kind of airy and fluffy and make it look like there's just all different kinds of things, uh, clouds kind of forming. No, uh, I don't like snakes. I do not like snakes at all. At all all not on tv not in pictures nothing i do not like me no snake i don't care if you own one just don't bring it around me I think if there was ever something in life that would literally make me pass out right there, that would probably be it. Be it. it would probably be it right there. All right. So I think this is it before I overdo it. Because I do have the tendency to do that at times. Just using up this paint real quick, and the rest is just assembly, you guys. Getting to the point of assembly is usually the hardest part. Assembly is the easiest. I know. I'm so not looking forward to it. So this is what it's looking like. Hopefully I'm in frame. So it looks a little wispy, like there's air back there somewhere. We have some of the texture now being able to be seen. You can probably won't see it as well through the camera, but, you know, hopefully whoever wins this, you'll definitely be able to see it. I might add a little bit of gold to those, some of those raised areas after the fact, just as a final little touch up. I'm going to start assembling now, you guys. I'm going to see what I do now with this paper that I have here. Let me grab these little pieces of chipboard that I have to include on here and put these over here. I'm going to put this other piece of chipboard here for now. Oops. Thank you, thank you. So this is where we are. Now, this is going to be somewhere here, I think, right? Somewhere around here. Wait, what did I do? Is it this way? 
or this way? Yeah, I kind of like it the other way though. Now that everything is kind of like all covered up, I kind of like it the other way. So it's going to be somewhere around there. And where's this thing right here? We are going to be adding this kind of like around here somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that in place. That's going to be there. Oh. Ooh, that would have been a catastrophe, you guys. <laughs> what? That would have been a catastrophe. So, boom, 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 boom. And let's lay this baby out. Let's see. Right around there. Oh my goodness, I'm already loving the way that it's looking. Yes, it is beautiful. Neda, I am so like, oh, right now. <laughs> I'm so like, oh my goodness. I think this is going to be one of those moments that I experience every now and then when I create something that I'm just like, what? Did I do? I want to be able to glue this onto here. So I'm going to see which way I want to put these little things that I cut out. I think. I really like the way that, that one looks. So I think I'm gonna put just this, these two. Maybe just the one. <laughs> I went from three to two to one. Let's see. Um, well, first of all, you have to be part of the chat, which you have. Um, in your case, darling though, I will need your mom's consent because you're not 18 years of age or older. But I go into this chat log and I will see everybody that's been active from the beginning of the live stream that has been there pretty much present, you know, throughout most of it, um, communicating, chatting, giving feedback, you know, giving me tips, helping me out, <laughs> inspiring me like you guys do all the time. Um, and then I come back to the chat after the video has uploaded and I write down everybody's name that I can see throughout the video has been there, has made their presence known. And I put you guys in a bag. And I shake it and I pull a name out. Oh, no, night fear. No worries, darling. Enjoy your company. Thank you so much for being a part of it today. I really do appreciate it. Let's see. Two little birdies right there. I want to make it look like kind of like um, Cinderella where they come in with the little beaks and they just put in the little thing on. Um, let's see. I'm going to put some of the, okay, unhook to my finger birdie. Unhook to me finger birdie. Let's see. I'm going to put some of the little birdies around the edges like so. Um, let's see. I'm not going to use these, so I might as well take the butterflies off of them. Yeah, because that's going to look color crazy if I add those there. So I'm going to leave just the one. I think that that'll look pretty cute. Bye, darling. And thank you so, so much for being here. And I think... Let's see. I needed to do some more of the face this way. I got too many of the face other ways. Um, let's see. And this heart right here. We're going to see. Because I still have to kind of distress this. So let me go ahead and distress this. Should I add this to it, you guys, or no? What do you think? With? Without? With. 
I would have to distress the edges. I kind of like it, but then at the same time, I kind of like it. And I'm like, I kind of like it, but then I kind of like it. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. This is really hard. Toughest choices. No, right? With Without? Without. Yeah, I can always count on you guys. So let's see. I think I'm going to need to add some more birdies in here just to make it cute. But I could add some flowers, right? We could add some flowers. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we find. We have some flowers. Maybe not the big ones, but maybe some of the small ones. All right, so let me go out gluing on down some of these little pieces, some of these little guys here. So let's do a little birdie. Let's glue this other little birdie. I got to just all these babies. So I got one just sold already, which is this one. This is, I got to just sold one more. So I'll just sold him now. Maybe I won't just sold him. Maybe I'll just keep the one that um is already ready to go. It's already taking up so much of you guys this time. Yes, and tuck clock pieces behind the flower. Mija, pero tu jura que yo tengo de todo un poco. I'm just playing. <laughs> Tony is like, open up the bolts. And take out all the stuff that you have in the vaults. I know you got a stash somewhere. <laughs> I know you got the stash, Carmen. Take it out. Take it out. <laughs> yes, you did. You did, actually. You're right. But how do you know I didn't use them already? <laughs> I could have used them. I could have been so overjoyed and excited that I went do, 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 and used it all up. <laughs> Let me see. I got to have them. I got to have them somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. Can I do this right? That, that, this one's not glued on yet. Put that one there. Let's see. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what I find. Let me see what I find. Because I have stuff stacked and stuff on top of other stuff. So, my woman. If I don't find it in this box, I'm going to have to look to see for the other one. Be cold. I don't know if I have it here. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if I like this. I think I'm going to use... Um, let's see. I think what I want to do... I think I should have... 
I should have. I'm going to see if I find some. I think I should have some clock pieces, but in paper form. I think that'll probably be easier for me to tuck around. Let me see. Let me see if I use them all up. Because I might have. How big? Wire. Let's see. Oh, the camera wire. Got it. Thank you. String I have. That I can work with. That I can, I have easy access to string. I'm gonna try to see if I can find um, some other elements. We'll see what we come up with over here. We'll see what we come up with over here. Let me get myself a bigger flower. I'm gonna need it. See, I didn't think about that, so I didn't unpack. I have all my boxes layered up. So where I have those things, it might be a little difficult for me to get to. I'm like hoarding some of the flowers that you guys sent me. <laughs> Cause all the flowers that I have are little. All the flowers that I have are small. So I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. And holy but Jesus, <laughs> my door angel's here. He's downstairs, the door's locked. <laughs> my son is home. Um scared the Billy go out of me, you guys. Where is my bag? <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. See, I have easy access to my flowers so that I keep that box handy, but anything else is like stacked and top of stacked and top of stacked. If you guys saw, you probably look, what the heck, Carmen? I'm gonna grab some of these little green leaves that this has here. And let me just see. So this is what happens to my flowers when they come out of their packaging and I can't no longer fit it back into any spot or like I have one or two left over. They go into this random bag. But what sucks about having a random bag is that everything is all mixed up in there. So, oh, they, all right. So, I'm gonna go with some of this. I'm gonna get some of these little green vines that I have in here. I don't necessarily think about these flowers. This is more for like, I'm um, just doing them because they're kind of pale already. Like you can tell they've been in the sun and not the sun. Thank you. I could have just gessoed this. Gessoed this whole thing. But that probably would have looked really, really nice. We'll figure it out. For right now, I'm just going to use some of the leaves. I can always use that later. Yeah, right? Doesn't that suck, Isabel? <laughs> you like something so much that you end up like, no, I don't want to use you. No. <laughs> I go through that all the time. 
all the time. I don't really like these little orangey kind of flowers, but with some gesso on them, I make good use of it. Ooh, they brought me nice cold water, you guys. Not about being nice, but it's cold. Well, it's nice because you didn't have to do that, okay? You didn't have to do that, but you did. All right, so we got that. Let me get my glue gun out because I think I'm gonna need it, right? And we're gonna figure some of this out. I'm not just one, this I'm gonna leave it green. I like the green against the blues and the pinks, so I'm gonna leave them just the way it is. And um, I wanted to add some of this on there. So let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let me glue this to this real quick before I mess that up. I'm just gonna glue this little thing here. And the die doesn't come with that little string attached to it. This die, for some reason, um, when you use it, it doesn't cut out the little bowl shape all the way. It stays attached to the paper. So when I was cutting it out, it actually came out. You know, I had to cut the little, I left the little section open there so that I can use that as well. So we're gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna leave this kind of drying there. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself my glue gun and put that to dry. I'm gonna work on some of this paper and distressing this. I see bien fría con mucho hielo with lots and lots of ice. All right, so let's see, what am I doing? Glue gun, check. Glue gun, check. Let's put this baby to heat up. And then we can um, proceed with layering up some of this paper. It's shown. All right. Even better. That's less work. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy with that, my friend. Very, very happy. All right. So let's see here. So we got some of this. Let's get some of these. Get some of that. Some of those. Some of this. And some of this. So we got these flowers here. Some of these baby blue ones. And let's see how we're going to do this. Let's layer some of these babies up. <laughs> she says, now you're talking my type of world. All right, so kind of like that. Let's get some of this string on my string. String on my string right here. Let's cut this down. Okay, cut means cut. Cut means cut. It does not mean linger. So let's go ahead and do this. I won't get cheesecloth, but what I will try to find is some tool to add into this. Hmm. 
or maybe let's see. I have I think this is too hot of a pink, so I'm not gonna go with that pink. This might work. <laughs> this little gold dotted stuff. I think that might look cute. Let's see. I'll try some things with you guys. We'll see what works. What's this right? Something like a bow, maybe. Kind of like that with the bow. Right? I kind of like that. Hopefully I can keep it. I don't even know how I did that right now. Like <laughs> that was like a strike of like <laughs> real quick. Well, you just won, Tina. So you have to hold on on this one. You could win on the next one. <laughs> so let's see. I think it was something like this. And then... I'm not good at making bowls, you guys. I tie my laces by sheer luck. And honestly, I walk on the street and I got to tie them again. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm like three blocks, four blocks from my house and my laces are untied already. That's how good of a job I do. I'm not one of those bowl tires. Let's see. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Oh, yes. Take, you see, Tanya? You're full of good ideas. You got to give credit what credit is due. Yes, darling, yes. This is why I need you guys here every Saturday at 6 o'clock. <laughs> I need you here. All right, so let's see. Let's do this. Let's twist this baby up. I know, I know. All right, so let me shrink this side a little bit because it's looking like Frank and Bo right now. Okay, what the heck? I squeezed it too tight. Lord, please, I don't want to spend half an hour here breaking my head with a bow. Let this thing move. All right. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Flowers are flying everywhere. Así se fue. I'm not going to go crazy. It's going like that. Because I'm going to be covering this up anyway with the flower. So we're good to go. We're good to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're good to go. We are good to go. So let me bring this up a little bit. I'm going to add this thing here first. Some of this lace, well, not lace, but string. Hopefully, I caught all the ends.
Now we're gonna add this bow. This crazy bow. I probably could have doubled that up to make it fluffy, but we're gonna roll with it for right now. We're gonna add this flower. And I'll tack it all a little bit better once I have all the other elements inside. Yeah, I did it backwards. <laughs> like everything else in life with me. I start at the end and work my way to the beginning. Yes, I have to look for some. I do have to look for some. Let me see. I'm gonna try to see if I can find some in my stash. If not, I'm gonna have to see what I do. Um, I'm gonna have to see what I do here, you guys. All right, so let me look at my little femur box and see if I find clock pieces. Hopefully there's still hope for us. Let's see if I find some, my little archive. And hopefully I can find them sooner rather than later. So I do tend to use them quite often. And I don't know if I've refreshed up my stash. Let's see. I found something like a clock here. We'll see, we'll see how it all unfolds, you guys. Just give me one second while I try to find some of these flat pieces. Hopefully I can find some in good timing. I'd be having stuff labeled, you guys, but you know what happens? That I take it out and when I put it back, I put it wherever. I'm not gonna lie, I have so many bad habits, you guys, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, I'm a hot mess. You guys don't even know the half of it. Yeah, I don't have any in here. I seem to be out, I have found one. So we're gonna use that one. And I think what I'm gonna do is probably back it up with some kind of a circle. Um, I just use them so often that I ran out. I think I'll use that. That and the clock, I think, will be where I'm going to have to. Yep. Because I don't seem to find any more of my little clocks. So 
Yep. Think I'm out. I'm fresh out of class. Yeah, I'm fresh out of class. Give me, let me see. Um, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I think I'm out. I think I'm out. I don't find any that I can see right away. And the other stuff I have is too packed away right now for me to take it out. I like this little cherub guy, but we'll see what I do with it if I, if I end up adding it in. I did find one clock piece, so I am going to use that. I'm going to punch out a circle. Just have to see which paper I want to do it from. I don't want to use that one. See something more plain. I'll use this one. It's a little bit more plain. It won't hurt me as much later. This is the world's biggest circle. But it'll do the trick for now. <laughs> I know. I didn't think about all those things. You know that I'm like, you know, half in, half out when I do these, these kinds of projects. I'm like, I think about it, but I don't think about it. So I don't know. I only kind of halfway work out the idea process. But don't worry, it'll still come out beautiful nonetheless. I hope so. I hope so. It won't show if I don't back it. It's the light, the color's too light. So it won't show if I don't back it, but I'm gonna do something to this. I'm not gonna leave it like this. This is why I kind of like I backed it because I'm gonna use the gunmetal paint and I'm gonna go around the, the edges and I'm gonna hook it up. I'm gonna do what it does. In the meanwhile, while I work with that, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to just give this like a second to kind of do what it's going to do. I still have to add this on here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this now. Let's see. I don't like how that looks. All right, so I think I'm just gonna hot glue this now. I wanna give it a little bit of dimension. I want it to have a shadow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do, is the I don't know. I need cardstock. I found some. I'm not gonna add foam because foam just, Peels off with time, no matter what you do to it. So I want this to be something that will last a while. So I'm going to use some messed up cardstock that I have. And I'm going to layer a whole bunch of pieces together to create some dimension. Yeah, that's where I was going with that.
Did I see the shadow? Oh my God, it's the shadow. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now we up, up, and away. All right. So let's see. Let's see. I need to start tucking and stuff. So where's my tools? I'm going to use this little stick of a thing I have here. All right, so let's start putting in some of these flowers. I need something to kind of prop this up for me because I have a lot of work to do on here. In the meanwhile, actually, before I do that, because I want this to kind of dry, let me just kind of go over this. You guys can kind of see what I'm going to do here. gonna be the one little dark element that this is gonna have. And it's not completely black, so it won't be too dark, but come on, sugar and spice and everything nice. It got too dark on me. It got too, or uh, not dark, wet. It got too wet on me. I could have done this with a marker or something, but it's metallic paint. So that's why I decided to go with the metallic um, paint instead. How long have I been here? Oh my goodness, it's already 818. I see I'm falling back into my old habits. I gotta curb my enthusiasm. This is kind of how you go from drab to fab. Just gotta try not to squeeze too much out of it because I don't want it to um, start leaking everywhere. But let's see. Okay, oh, don't mess it up after I worked so hard to get it there. And this dries quick because it's acrylic paint, so this don't take nothing to dry. This will be the one little dark element that I have. 
in this whole thing. So it should work out pretty well. And you guys can do this with any paints. You just gotta get yourself a fine tip applicator, you know, a fine tip writer. And a cap that fits on to your um, paint bottles. The only ones that I saw so far, because I did buy, I think it was, I'm not, I'm not sure if it was, um, I know it was a Ranger brand, I think, that I bought of this. And the whole thing is too small. Um, Deco Art, the one that they sell, actually fits over a two ounce bottle, so it fits perfectly on your two ounce bottle of uh, paints. The other one only fits on um, their size bottle paints, which I think that they have the smaller or their, their neck is more tapered, so it doesn't work as um, you won't be able to screw it on. But Deco Art, the fine tip writer, goes right over your two ounce bottles, and you can create your own two ounce bottles with those. All right, you guys, it's not perfection, but it'll do for now. All right, so let me close this back up. And what I'll do is I'll just switch it from, you know, paint to paint to paint to paint. <laughs> to paint. Um, so we have that going. We have the flower going. Let's keep adding some of our flowers. Um I just need to be able to see what I'm doing here. And I gotta clip some of these. They're just too long. Now I'm not gonna add them all in there, but I do wanna add, you know, nice, nice amount. Nice amount. Thank you, sweetheart. So let's work with these for now and see what's what. Let's work with these for now. So I got the pink in the center. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is some of this blue. And let's just stick it. Stick it wherever we can stick it. Let's just stick it wherever we can stick it. I see the hold it bow. I'm gonna rip some of these little bits off and try to stick. Let's see, try to stick some of these things here. Little pieces of um, lace. Little pieces of lace, you guys. Let's see. Little pieces of lace. Here and there, here and there. And we are almost done with this with this process. Okay, I put you in and you just jump out because you nosy or somebody called you. I don't like that big chunk. 
just kind of lingering there. I don't mind bits and pieces of shredded fabric just, you know, flying all over the place, but everything has its due course. So let's see, let's keep adding, let's keep adding you guys. Let's add some of these little teeny ones. I don't have pink in these little baby flowers. So we'll figure out what we can do with these. I gotta try to get some white ones, right? I need some white ones. I don't think I need that for this. I think I'm gonna get like regular glue to attach some of these little ones. I think I'm gonna form like little clusters, little clusters of three. You don't want to work. What's going on? Okay. Little clusters of three is what I'm going to form with these little blue ones. Yes, darling. I hope you feel better. Sooner rather than later. It must be very hard to just be functioning with one arm. Clusters, little clusters of three. And I just realized they had different color blues in here. It's all right. Because I put the next little cluster right here with the lighter blue so that it's all balanced. Little clusters of three. Thank you, thank you, Nada. So let's see. We're missing something. What am we missing? It needs a wow factor. Let me see what else I find. I don't feel that wow factor, you guys. missing something. Oh, the clock piece. That's what's missing. Let's see how it's doing. Is it dry? It's not dry yet. Let me start cutting it around. Oh no, I'm getting to the end of it. I'm gonna go put it by the fan to see if it'll help speed it up. Thank you. 
Come on, come on, clock feet. Hurry up, dry up, dry up. So make me do something crazy. So make me do something crazy. Um, let's see. It's not all the way dry, you guys. But I think I'll be able to get away with it as long as I don't touch it and let it dry, like right there. Let's see, did I bring this down too much? bring this lace up just a little bit. I did, I did cut it in half. <laughs> I just, I'm not gonna fiddle with it too much. I'm gonna let it keep drying. Once it keeps drying, I'm going to add some more flowers and stuff on the side, and I'll glue it down a little bit better. But I just wanted you guys to get a feel for what it's looking like. So we'll, it'll, you know, it'll be a little bit better off once it's all done. In the meanwhile, I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of stamping here and there with, a, with some ink. So I'm going to grab some archival ink in blue, and I'm going to add a little bit of text to the background because since I didn't add the paper I might as well add a little bit of text to that and um, finish it off that way for now and I think where's my stump man where's my stump come out come out wherever you are for thou cannot hide from me there we go thank you very much I greatly greatly appreciate it Hi, Zana. It's all right. I can't down it more. The flowers are in the way. <laughs> I can't down it anymore, Tanya. So I'm using aquamarine. And I'm just going to kiss it. I'm going to kiss the canvas, you guys. I'm just going to kiss it. I'm going to kiss it here. I'm going to kiss it there. I'm just going to give it a lot of little kisses to just, you know, just a lot of little kisses. I don't want to add too much. I don't want it to feel overwhelmed, but I want it to know that it's loved. I should have done this first, but like I said, I do things from the back to the front. This is why I work hard, harder <laughs> usually. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll learn one day. I promise. I don't know when. Don't know when. But I'll learn one day. That's what my mama said. I called the other day. I said, Mama, I'm still waiting. She said, No worry, baby. You'll get it one day. I said, I know. I'm still waiting, though. Just wanted to let you know, give you an update, just in case you was wondering if I got it. I don't got it yet. I think I'm going to add maybe some pearls, some pretty pearls to this, right? What you think? Some pearls. Make it look nice and cute. Add a few little pearls here and there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what I got in my little box. Should we go with some blue? No, I think we need some white. This canvas needs some white. So we're gonna go with some white. We're gonna go with some white. Yeah, that'll work. So 
but let's see. I got some blues, so maybe I'll add. Will this fit one more? I know, but you know, I, I read and I work and I read and I work. And sometimes I only get to read the first sentence of the paragraph and the last sentence of the paragraph. But whatever's in the middle, sometimes I can't see. I don't get a chance to. Sometimes I do need that technical assistance. Okay, so just gonna glue these babies on. And yes, I'm gonna peel them off this you know, ridiculous little waxy thing that it has because it's pretty much useless when it comes to this kind of stuff because it will fall off. It will fall off, you guys. It's happened to me already. I'll literally be in the middle of my living room and I'll have st little sticker stuff just flying everywhere thinking that my living room is haunted. And meanwhile, the whole while it's just that the, you know, the little sticky stuff finally wore out. And I didn't even know. Because nobody told me. And I'm getting ready to sprinkle the holy water everywhere. Yes, I do have my glasses. <laughs> I'll be walking into walls. Literally, the, the, the thing will be upside down. I'll be like, that's it. I'm done, you guys. You'll all be looking at me like, what the heck? What is this girl talking about? What is this crazy chica talking about? I'm just adding a few here and there. Just adding a few here and there. I'm going to add one in between each little cluster of flower. I think that'll look cute. One in between my little clusters. My little clusters of flowers. No, he didn't. Not yet. But I am taking a long time on this one today. I thought I was going to be done way sooner. So let's see. I'm back, Pearl. Come on, Pearl, back. <laughs> I don't want it there. Maybe there? No. Maybe there. Let's see if I like it. No, I don't like it. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave the balloon alone. I'll add it here instead. I'll add it there instead. Let's see how this clock thing is doing. I want to add some of my little green beeps and stuff, but I want to make sure that this is completely done before I do. Let me see. This thing not even glued down all the way. Come on, man. Now you're messing with my emotions. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I can't lift it at it. 
I can't lift it in it because it'll just rip the whole thing. So I try to make the most of it. You want strawberry ice cream? Oh, you didn't like it? Has anybody tried the um, chocolate trio from haagen -Dazs? Oh, my yumminess. That is delicious. Me love it. Me love it long time. I know it. I know it. Me gonna love it long, long time. I want a candy bar too. Oh, you guys got me so hungry up in here. He wants flan too? Oh no. I'm not making no flan at this time. I'm so sorry. It's not the same. It's all sugar. You guys, the mace are so hungry. Let me see if I find some white ones, some white flowers. I should have. I should have some little white ones. And I do have. Let's see which one of these I do use. And then we're about to call this a wrap, you guys. Dulce de leche cake, yes. Yummy. <laughs> the bodega's not calling us cake. It's calling you, maybe. <laughs> it's not calling me. Let's see. So do I want the white? How do I want this? I think I want these. Yeah, you guys done made some so hungry. Now he's like, apurate, apurate, mujer, apurate. <laughs> now he's rushing me. All right, you guys, I think that this is about done. Let's see what do I have here. This little heart. 
where is my gold? Gotta make this more goldy. So I could put it there and glue it down. into that. This guy's too big. So I'm gonna go with this. A little heart here and there. And I think this is about done. Yeah, this is about done. It's not about done, this is done. This is done, you guys. I finished it, I think, right? I think this is good. What do you guys think? Oh, I forgot to glue down a flower. What? All right, so I think this is pretty much it for me. I wish this light was a little bit better, but my light source sucks. So this is what we did. This is some of the gold metallic, maybe of the fuchsia or one of the other pinkish kind of colors that I have, or maybe even some blue, um, depending on what I'm, I think the pink will probably look nice, or maybe, I don't know, the blue maybe. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'll surprise you guys. When I do the giveaway, you guys will see if I end up doing the edges or not. But I think that this came out absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I love the dimension and all of this. Um, I wish I would have had a little bit more pieces to kind of add in here and there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do some little things to it. But I'll do that when I guess when the mood kind of strikes me to add a little bit more here and there. I might add some more butterflies. Um, just maybe a few little things here and there, nothing too major, but I don't want to hold you guys up all night because it's almost nine o'clock. You've been with me for three hours. And I just want to say thank you all so, 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 so very much. I do appreciate it as always. Um, and I'll be doing the drawing probably between, you know, in the next couple of days, but know that it will be done. I know that this week I took a little bit longer just because I had a lot of things on my mind and I was just going through some personal stuff. So. It did take me a little bit of time to get the giveaway done, but I'm glad I got it done. Um, Tina, like I told you, I'm going to ship that out to you within a couple of days. I might be a little bit late just because I'm all over the place all the time, but it will get done. I'm a person of my word, um, so you will have it soon. Thank you all so much. I enjoyed you guys' company and uh, definitely all your feedback and all of that awesome stuff. As always, lots of love, lots of blessing, lots of hugs and kisses to all of you. Thank you all. Have a great, great weekend and stay out of this heat. Bye.